One of the things that you see is this is a straightforward protectant, just applied once. Tim, that's correct, isn't yes. it? Six weeks ago. And if you look six weeks ago, here's one I marked earlier. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm only kidding. If you look for a deposit on that leaf, I think it's particularly difficult to find. This is the deposit on flag minus one, which looking at the phenology of the crop, we think was the primary leaf that was emerged when all of these plots were sprayed the once. The interesting thing there is you can see it on F minus two as well, but notice how it's not on the upper surface of F minus one. Now, if I had a systemic product, one of the triazole fungicides, like our tepiconazole, or our prosaro, or opus, or tilt, I've got some, what we call, translaminar activity. I can actually get product to move into that leaf. So the fact I haven't put any on that side of the leaf is less consequential. But, in this case, I've put a protectant covering on that side of the leaf. The group of fungicides that you most have available to you that you use on an everyday basis are what we call the DMIs, the demethylation inhibitors. The DMIs, or triazoles as they're quite often referred to, are products that have systemic activity, but it is limited systemic activity. If you apply a DMI fungicide such as Folicure, Opus, Tilt, Prosaro to the leaf, the fungicide when it moves inside the leaf will only move in one direction, towards the tip. So if this leaf was just coming out like that, you can get some great pictures of the tip being green and the base being diseased. The fungicide has no ability to move backwards, but they do have an ability to move inside the leaf, which means that if we were spraying today and the stripe rust had infected that head three or four days ago, we would get control. If it had been infected seven to ten days ago, it would be very marginal. So that is what we call kickback. It's where a fungicide has the ability to kick back in time and control infection that had already occurred. The protectants have no ability to do that. These systemic products still only protect and cure what they hit. When the fungus lands on the leaf, if it's got the right humidity to germinate and penetrate, if you're using a triazole, Remember the Opus, the Folicure, the Tilts, the Prosaros, the Tilt Extras, the Triads. If you use them, it cannot control a spore on the leaf. Yeah? It's no ability to control the spore on the leaf. That's because the triazoles work by actually blocking the pathway of an important cell wall component. And they can't work because when a spore lands on a leaf, it's actually got a reserve of ergosterol. And that is the important cell wall component, the synthesis of which the triazoles block. And you say, I'm not really interested, thanks very much. Okay, well, if you use a strobilurin as well, 
a strobal urine can take the spore out before it penetrates the leaf. They are superb anti sporulent materials. They are super duper protectants. So the way they work is they block the energy giving um, organelles of the spore. So the mitochondria, which produce the energy that make the spore germinate, are blocked by the strobes. That simple difference means that azoles won't prevent the initial infection point. Strobes will. So sometimes you get less flecking and physiological effects from diseases where you've used strobes than where you've just used azoles. So that very simple difference of the way in which they kill the fungus results in different things you can see.